Yeah, uh, the whole the whole day was awesome. You know, walking into the stadium, knowing you're gonna play pregame, getting warmed up, getting everything ready to go. You know, that's the stuff that I miss so much. And uh, like I said, it was awesome being out there with my teammates. Um, you know, there's still things I got to get better at, and, and you know, get to to where I was. But you know, it was really good just to start it like that. How do you know when you're ready? Could you have gone last week or? Um, what were you talking about, Miami? Yeah. Yeah, you know, Miami, I went up and I said, listen, I think for my first game back, I need a, a full week of fast practice. That being a walkthrough week, um, you know, I wanted to feel the, the plays in real time, uh, you know, real feel in practice. And I don't think I was going to get that with the walkthrough. Jake, how close are you now to where you were before playing the game a yeah. year ago? Um, I mean, that's hard to say. I don't think I'm there yet, but I think I'm getting better every single day. You know, it's just a huge process, and I think, uh, you know, I have a lot more respect for people who go through injuries and serious injuries now with all the, the stuff you do every single day just to get where you are now. But, you know, you see the light at the end of the tunnel when you start getting better and you start getting back out there and things feel more more natural. Um, you know, not all the way there, but, you know, it's just like I said, every day's a step. Because we, you know, we hear, you know, different little updates here and there, but... I mean, how many surgical procedures have you had since yeah. that that New England that New England? Yeah, I had two. Yeah, I had the initial one, and then I had one late summer. Um, but those were both necessary for me to get back out there. Um, and it was just like I said, it's it's a lot, you know. Even when I first had surgery, man, that was like the worst surgery of my life. You know, that week after was miserable staying there in Texas. But you know, luckily I had my family come with me and everything, and. Just my whole support system, even the Ravens, you know, they're being really good to me and allowing me to take the time to come back was just a blessing. Was, Nick, was there any bit. point where, where you had those little setbacks that you wondered if it would come around for this year? Oh, yeah. Older? Yeah. <laughs> you think, like, when you get injured like this, I mean, you, you, you fight daily battles with yourself when, you know, you're not feeling good yet, maybe because you're not fully warm. You know, there's a whole process, like I said, and you got to get fully warm, you got to get fully into it. And, you know, from a mental aspect coming off of injuries, you know, you're always thinking to yourself, am I going to be the player I was before? You know, that goes through your head daily. And um, you got to really erase that and just go to work and work every single day, erase it and go and attack the next day like that. And, you know, I have full belief that I will, um, you know, go out there and I, I will be how I was and I will be even better. But, you know, that stuff just takes time. What was the full extent of the damage? I know your ACL was not was spared, I guess, right? Yeah, my ACL, we we allowed to talk about that, it's fine, right? <laughs> I mean, I had a, a hamstring, meniscus, PCL, MCL, little fracture, and then I had a cleanup late, so. And your hamstring was completely off the bone. Yeah, right? the inside part of it was. Usually people have them on the outside, but it was different, it was on the inside, because the way they got hit, it kind of came through, and my whole inside didn't need to go out. Hey, Nick, how important it was for you, all these crosses, all your teammates, as soon as they find out that you started coming into the you know, practice, they got everybody so excited. Even uh, Patrick Rizvar, he put his clothes out yeah. for the game. What do you think about it? Yeah, that was uh, – I didn't see that till I got home, and I was, like, hanging out with him on the plane and bus, and I'm like, man, I'm a bad teammate. I didn't say thank you, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that stuff is so much appreciated. And guys who are like Pat and, you know, the whole tight end room, even the whole Ravens, you know, when you just go out there at a practice – you know, people yelling your name, people encouraging you. So, like, that's just an awesome feeling. And those are the stuff you miss when, you know, you're here working every single day, but you're not out there on the practice field doing what you're here to do. You know, you're in here trying to get back to that. And so you're behind the scenes just in the training room, in the weight room, and doing everything you can every single day, but you're not out there. So when you eventually get to that point and then you have all your teammates encouraging you, it's just like, uh, you know, you're just so happy when you go out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Among your, your strengths is your ability to block. Yeah. And up to this point, having watched your quarterbacks go down at a, at a rate that is some of the most sacked quarterbacks in the league, your assessment of that and what you can do to help that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's everything. I mean, no one can pinpoint one thing. You know, football is a whole team sport, and there's a lot of moving parts. You know, maybe one play some guy didn't get this, or one play this guy did this, you know? So it's hard to pinpoint that at one point. Um, but for, you know, for me to come back, I think my team is doing a tremendous job. I think the tight ends specifically have been doing a really, really good job in this offense. And, uh, you know, I'm just coming back trying to add on to that, try to help that. The, the day after, as you kind of get back on the grind of recuperation. 
it was good, you know. It was a little sore. I did came and I did I lifted my legs, so I tried to get that out of the way in the beginning of the beginning of the week. But um, you know, it was good. It, it wasn't really like a, oh my knee's super, you know, it doesn't really hurt. What I really need to do, I think, I just need to continue building strength through my leg. You know, functionally and everything, it's there. Um, you know, I just need to keep getting it stronger and stronger. John said it wasn't exactly like the symbolism wasn't talked about, but first two plays Sunday, basically it runs right behind you or you're right in the vicinity there, pick up, I think, 15 total yards. Mm-hmm. Did you think about that at all as it was going on and <laughs> kind of a welcome back? Uh, yeah, moment? I mean, when I blocked my guy and I see the running back get through, it made me feel a little better. You know? <laughs> you know, like I said, when coming back from injury, man, you have doubts, and those are the doubts you got to push away. And when you go out there to play, it's like, man, I, I – you do everything in your power to get those plays right and do them the best of your ability. But sometimes, you know, realistically, it doesn't always happen like that. So I was thankful those first two plays went like that. Um, and like, I just try to build on that. And you know, that was a good, it was a good feeling. Thanks, Nick. Good. Thanks guys.